Hello and welcome to yet another watch along of the FX uh, Disney Plus uh, show called Shogun. We are currently watching episode 4. I don't know why. It says 3 on the screen, so let me fix that. Watching episode 4, not 3. Apologies. Uh, and it's called Eightfold Fence. That's what's what. Uh, last time out, uh, Blackthorn and Taranaga uh, were together with Mariko and some of uh, Taranaga's forces escaped Osaka, Osaka, and they managed to find passage out of Osaka. Now, what I understand is. Uh, Taranaga wants Blackthorn to sort of build his uh, or train his soldiers into the art of fighting, you know, the Western way, basically. So let's check out episode uh, four, like I read, titled Eightfold. Uh, Eightfold what again? Man, I'm forgetful today. Eightfold Fence. Of course, today I'm going to be doing a joint uh viewship so uh, i might do an episode five together with this or i might separate them i don't know i didn't drape an episode last week so i apologize for keeping them a little busy anyway let's just watch the damn thing without any further ado So far, so good. I gotta, I gotta say, the intro is still captivating. The whole sand module thing with the, with the ship sailing on sand, it's quite interesting. According to me, that is. I find it quite catching. Quite engagingly beautiful. They're beating the drum, Lord Taranai. Oh my god. Toranaga.
I think they're giving Blackthorn some sort of servant. I don't know if the servant is supposed to smash her or what. You know that lady in the first uh, episode, I think, or second episode, where her husband spoke out of turn and ended up getting himself and their kid killed? Man, these Japanese dudes were brutal. They killing you and your ending your bloodline, basically. If you dead and your son dead, you ain't never gonna have it's over for you. Which is quite brutal, if you ask me. Extremely brutal. Mm, Tanaranga is coming to this to this village with the, almost a thousand men. He's arriving like a king. Man, that's a lot of soldiers he's got under his command. Man, that's a lot. Black Dawn thought he, he 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 bargained a deal to get his ship and his crew back, and Mariko's like, "Is it Mariko or Mariako?" Huh. 
And she's like, no, you're mistaken, my dude. Mareko. She's like, you're mistaken. Your ship, your crew belong to Lord Tararanga. Not you. You just a servant piece of shit. God damn. That's what I call incredible. Okay, one of the village dude wants to betray Taranaga, if I'm not mistaken. He's talking like, dude, he's telling Yabashiji, if I'm saying that name right, that, you know, you promised Ishido some stuff. And he might come here and collect your stuff. So, as long as Lord Taranaga is not around, you can actually give this shit to Ishido. We'll find out what happens. How do you grieve those that you've lost by continuing their best? That's some bullshit. Her men's died. Her kids died. Now she got a baby, this white dude from Britain. And it's supposed to give her honor and her place and whatnot. That's some bullshit. And she's lucky this guy's not barbaric. If he was, he would have tried to fuck her and all that. I'm just saying. I really gotta stop cursing. It's not good for the channel. Not good at all. But you saw me yesterday playing EFC, man. It was it was horrendous. I was losing my grip. I was furious.
Remember to hit that sub and like button. Say some comment sections and whatnot. Oh, they it seemed like they gave Blackthorn one of his guns. There's a, there's a Mexican, okay, it's not a Mexican standoff. If it's a couple of guys with a bunch of katanas and Blackthorn with a sword and Fujisama, it's a. <laughs> Fuji is an incredible woman. He's impressed. He's impressed by his new forced uh, housemate or housewife, whatever she is for him now. He's very impressed. Extremely impressed by her performance. She just pulled a gun on these dudes like Go for you. Alright, doggy 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 Which makes the whole spectacle interesting in itself. Now, how is this training going to go for this whole uh Taranga gun regiment for in preparation for war. How is it gonna go? When's the war gonna take place? Is he gonna win? Doesn't that sort of defile the whole point of honor? If we're bringing guns into a samurai fight, doesn't that kill the concept of honor? Guns are cheap. For me, they're like cheap codes of what some not. You know, there's no honor with a gun. You shoot someone from a distance. I know you could do that with a boy and arrow and whatnot. But that takes skill and technique. And yes, with being a sniper and what, it takes skill and thing. But at close, close point range, close point range, you just gotta pull the trigger and kill somebody. Like, it's not that difficult. Unlike if you got a katana in your hands and you gotta, you gotta train and whatnot. You know, that's my opinion on the matter. I could be wrong though. Who knows? And you don't really want to be wrong in moments and circumstances like this. Hmm. Hold on, sir. I gotta go take a leak. So I'm gonna pause this recording for a second. Okay, and we're back.
Okay, the training has started. You have a she Yabo Shigi. Like telling Blackthorn that yo, we don't need basic shit. So they're looking for war tactics basically. He's telling them about a great battle called Siege of Malt. He's trying to show the strength of a cat. He just showed him how a cannon works. Apparently the Portuguese tried showing him, sh tried showing the Japanese the, the, the impressive accuracy of cannons. A and they failed. A and Blackstone's cannons are super accurate and whatnot. Mariko's scribing shit down apparently.
So far, Blackthorn is doing well teaching these dudes how to fight with cannons and whatnot. He's teaching them precision, accuracy, and whatnot. It's all good. So Mariko and Blackthorn are just having a tussle, basically. An earthquake. These Japanese people are something else. They building houses that can go up and go down the same way because they they expecting tsunami, they expecting wildfires, they expecting earthquakes. It happens once in a while, and it's pretty normal. Medical's like it's a baby earthquake, my dude. Shut up! I don't need to be a pushy about it. Which I find it quite impressive. That's kind of true though. You live and you die. Everything in between is just bullshit. You're born and then you die. Somebody's getting late. This is not PG-13. Women's about to poison this little fool. He gonna get himself killed.
Seems like Isido or Isido's men just showed up. Might be a battle. Something's brewing. Damn. Man, these Japanese dudes don't play. How do you tell a man? They telling Yashibashi. Okay. Yabashigi. If I'm saying that right. That to return to Osaka and pledge his allegiance. But when he gets there, they're going to tell him to perform the art of Sebuku. And if he stays, along with Tornaga's, on Tornaga's side, Lord Tornaranga's side, He'll be decredited, traitor to the crown and whatnot. And that will also get him killed one way or the other. So, hey, he's stuck in the middle. Go to the capital and die with a little honor by offing yourself. Or stay with this guy and hope to win and maybe die. But the problem is, if you stay, there's a possibility that Toraga might think you were a traitor. Dang! This is crazy! Who just gave Fuji his gun? Damn, she just gave him some katana, bitch.
It's probably hot. They're giving him a dish that's supposed to be hot. They just gave him spoiled cheese. I thought it was supposed to be some spicy shit with wasabi or some gross. Damn. I'm no, I'm no expert, but I can catch the flies. Blackthorn and Marco are gonna fuck. I don't know. Looks like they are. Oh, he's gonna fuck Fujisama. He's fucking somebody. He's charming the pants teeth off, but I'm telling you, he's doing it. Talking about London and whatnot. But ain't the Queen of England ain't in London, right? She's in London?
Continue, huh? I'm not British, so who cares? Somebody's getting in Blackthorn's room. It's a woman. She's lying down. Who is it? Who's the fucking lady? Is it Fujima? Is it, is it Fujisama or Mariko? Who's the bitch? Oh, I'm sorry. He's about to get laid. I told you he was going to get laid. Question is to who? Seems like Marco to me. But they all look the same in the dark. They all, they all got long hair. What? Who did he sleep with last night? They fucked him as a gift? Is that what they did in the olden days? Yeah, but speaking like why why does why does Aijin carrying swords and it's definitely a bad omen? <laughs> Okay, they're about to show this demonstration to 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 Lord Ashida Ashido's men how these cannons work and whatnot. Oh my god! This is not right! Even with the Geneva Convention, you can't shoot people with cannons! Tararanga's kid just massacred these dudes with cannons and shit. Oh my god, episode four, what a crazy battle. Oh my god, it all started all good. It all started good. I was like, man, these guys are finna learn how to do these cannon fights. You know, Blackthorn's gonna teach them how to do this thing. And then this dude just loses it and stops doing people with cannons, bro. Oh my god, it was beautiful. The blood. It was all over the place. This nigga had an eye, my god. It was gross. It was gross, but it was amazing. Worthwhile. Worthwhile. That's what I'm talking about. You really gotta get those moments in. You really gotta do it.
You got to get those moments in. Those, those, those odd minutes that you don't expect to happen. That happened. That was incredible. That was fabulous. God damn. I cannot wait for episode five that I'm going to watch very soon. Man, that was epic. That was epic. My God. God damn. Everybody hit that like, sub button. Appreciate you, man.